This is a short video about the installation of W0RIC's antenna in Sun City West, Arizona. The first part is the noisy part. It's the crane delivering the tower to the backyard. Quite an operation. It was the only way to get it close to where it was going to be installed. So we had the big crane there, and you can see it being lowered down with the helpers on the ground. Avoiding all the landscaping and the various other problems with the backyard. Here it comes. It'll be on the ground shortly. There it is on the ground resting on some standoffs and uh, one of the key guys walking by there is part of the uh, installation crew. This is the crate, or pardon me, the mounting cage that's going to go into the concrete hole and uh, support the tower. A very necessary part of uh, what we're going to be doing here. And there's the hole uh, with the cage installed and the rebar there. Um, ready for an inspection. And here we see additional rebar being installed just as a safety measure so that the tower isn't going to go anywhere. Here's the concrete phase. The concrete phase of the installation. Uh, no real easy way to get the concrete back there except by wheelbarrow so we've got the guys hauling it back a wheelbarrow at a time and pouring it into the hole. Big hole. A lot of wheelbarrows. It wasn't too hot that day which was good. Quite a bit of work hauling all that stuff back there. But we had Pretty good day. Put it on last week. Last week we were keeping chicken wings straight down the chest. <laughs> it happened. This is the crane service that was used. Give you an idea of who it was and where they're located. And the crane's work done, so it's leaving. And these are the people who uh, helped install the tower itself from California. And they brought it over basically on the trailer you're going to see here behind the uh, pickup truck. And here's the first part of the antenna installation once the tower was up. We got the tower tilted over, you'll see that in a minute. And uh, that's one of the two Yagi booms that we're going to be installing on the tower. And the little crossbars you see are actually where the elements are going to be attached. And we've taken the extensions off of the antenna just to get the boom itself mounted. You guys got it? Yay! Okay, here we go. And up she goes. We needed a couple of tall ladders as well. You got the wrench? No. You need the rent? No, he doesn't need it. Not yet. Are we? So this is. Wait, you got. It's gonna hit the got it. So this is fitting the first boom, the, the topmost boom, different. to the top of the uh, of the tower. Uh, we probably need to are we hitting the ladder? And that pole is the one that yeah, comes from the will. antenna yeah, rotor. You guys yeah. just steady it. Yeah, we got it. And it's just a matter of getting everything lined up so okay, it's going to slip over to the pole, and, and then it'll be tightened up. Hopefully this video will give you a pretty good idea of what's involved in a tower installation and putting the antennas on the tower. Uh, it can be quite a project. The concrete has to cure for about 30 days before you can actually uh, install the tower and uh, that brought the crane out again um, and, uh, after, after the 30 day curing period. And then once that happened, there were another couple of weeks that went by, and now we're installing the antennas. 
If this is going on There's YouTube, the guy wires for the antenna, the support wires. Yeah, you can go all the way to the top. Yeah, I will when I get it close. Get it started then. We're getting a pain in the neck watching you. I'm not bad. <laughs> I look up every now and then to see if something's falling, but it's too late. <laughs> I your heart. You've seen those cartoons about why what men do don't live as long as women? Up. Well, here we go. Yeah. 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 And some of the crew that was there to help. And then it's too late. <laughs> So there we go. We've got the support wires up there, and he's tightening down the the basic uh, mounting of the of the boom to the pole. And there we go. That's kind of what it looks like. So that's one down. No. And here comes the second Yagi, boom, coming over by the helpers. We had about, uh, oh, I guess eight or ten guys there that day, and uh, couldn't have done it without them. These are all members of our local amateur radio club, the West Valley Amateur Radio Club. And uh, they were there to help. We get uh, quite a helping crew together almost any time we put an antenna up. Good bunch of guys. I gotta take out. So here's the second boom being positioned. Yeah, I gotta get heavy now. And again, those are just the stubs of the elements, and we're getting all this done before we attach the final elements to the antenna. And as you can see, it's a pretty substantial one. But the performance has been absolutely outstanding. And actually made it worth all the effort. There you go. Okay, we need to rotate it that way. Oh, a damn tree. Getting it positioned to the right spot on the pole that comes up from the rotor and tightens it down a little bit to hold it. And then it's got to be aligned so it points the same direction as the upper Yagi boom. So there we go. We got both booms installed. We got to turn the lower boom so it matches the upper one. But basically, uh, ready to install the elements. So here's the finished product: a tower extended, and uh, two Yagis on top of it, just coming into view now, and the elements all in place, ready to go. And a close-up, a lot of uh, electrician's tape used on this just to keep all the feed lines and various things in place. But uh, as you can see, it's quite, quite an array and quite a design. Next, we're going to take a look at the performance and uh, give you a chance to listen to uh, a station uh, with the antenna up and up. So the bottom line on the company is... Complicated product, technologically complicated. They were developing a new auto tuner. It took a long time. It's now finally out in beta. I think one or two, one or two models are out. So it's been a, a long, long, long time. And I guess there's a wattage out indication. And again, Martin, this and is amateur radio. Frequency. It's not professional radio. It's amateur radio, and anything can happen. Another view of the antenna. I'm going to pull back here and show you what it looks like with the house in the front. There's his house. It's the one with the red roof. And uh, that's what the finished installation looks like. So a job well done by everybody. So my name is Richard Hayworth, Whiskey 7 Mike Delta Quebec, and I shot the video, and I'm putting it up on YouTube for you guys. Um, I'm a realtor in the area, so give me a call if you have any inf need any information on ham homes. Thanks very much for watching.